everyone, it's James Chamberlain, and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove these really annoying viruses that come in free models in your Roblox game. Now, as you can see, we're here in Roblox Studio, and um, it's just a normal default starter place, you know. So what we're going to do is we're going to be infecting this game with a virus, and then I'll show you how to remove it very easily. So um, I would not suggest doing this yourself, adding a virus into any game, especially a game that's important to you. So let's just go ahead and find one that looks like it's a real virus that will actually do something to the game and possibly cause us some problems, because we want to be sure that this is a real, actual, like, virus. So we're looking right now for like a studio virus here. Um, let's just go ahead and get this one right here. Usually these kinds are the type that are the real viruses right here. Now, I'm just going to rename this virus so that we remember. Or no, let's keep it that name because I want to test the virus. Board. So yummy is what we need to remember is our virus. Now the script. How to keep the meeting lock parts. Okay. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff here. Virus script, clone. Viruses will clone themselves. So say that right now I put in a model. Let's just go ahead and put in. Let's just go ahead and put in a few parts. Now these parts may become infected with the virus. Oh, I don't remember putting a virus directly on these parts, do I? I did not do that. See that? How do you like that? Let's go ahead and put up another part. But let's go ahead and move and move this part somewhere else. Go ahead and see if the part I put on. Let's see if there's a virus. Ew! It's not letting me go past the virus. All right, so it's automatically stopping me from editing the game or anything. Let's go ahead and put something like into the game. Let's try this. Go ahead and go down and edit this, shall we? I can't. Now, of course, I would just delete the virus if I doesn't, if I wasn't playing around here, but we're trying to remove it. Just go ahead and put a couple more in, shall we? This is not good here. This is really... Uh-oh, I think that we're gonna begin. I'm not sure this is a real virus or it's just supposed to look like one. But whatever, we'll just say that, um, we'll just put it in a couple more. And now, Studio may crash eventually because, um, yeah, these viruses are bad and they can cause your studio to crash and make it hard or impossible to edit your game. They can ruin a Roblox game. Okay, I should just delete that, whatever. So, that's another thing viruses will do. Now, let's go to plugins. Right here, Toggle GUI Road Offender. Put it on. Let's go for a quick scan because full scan takes a really long time. Total virus is quarantine 255. As you can see, though, this right here, yummy, is still here. I don't know why. Now, look, it's already finding viruses. Now, I'm going to tell you that not necessarily um, all of these are really viruses. Um, I'd say most of them are, but this thing sometimes, like, admin commands, it will delete two or damage admin commands. I don't know why. I think it does remove viruses, but a lot of virus removers on Roblox tend to, um, remove things that aren't viruses. But as far as I know, they still get the job done. It's sad I've seen them remove some things that I kind of wanted to keep in the game that I guarantee weren't virus, but... It removes the viruses as well, and if something is suspicious, then maybe remove it. Because admin commands do have the power and authority in your game to run certain commands to do like fly, ban, all those things. Viruses also have to be able to run and change the game. So, any script that can do that may be considered suspicious. Now, if you look here, then there's actually a quarantine where all of these things go, as you can see here. And anything this virus remover picks up is going to go into the quarantine. Now, we can leave this scan running while we go ahead and I'll show you exactly how to get it. Go to Manage Plugins, Find Plugins. Here, now put in Toggle GUI. And that should take us to it. 
Okay, no, never mind. I'm trying to find the road offender. So put in the, it's, it's road offender is what we want. But there are tons of road offenders, but this is the actual one that works. There are a lot of them, but this is the one that works. Now, this right here is going to be, I believe, the one I've got. This is the one I own. Do not press play when scanning. This is the one we want. The first road offender right here, the one with this blue shield, is the virus that we want. Or the virus remover that we want. Nine months ago. This here is the one we want. So anyway, let's continue to check back up on our virus scanner and see how we're doing here. It's definitely going. Now, I don't know why this yummy virus isn't getting, isn't getting removed yet. It should be deleted already. Okay, action quarantined. Let's go ahead and see here. But... I don't see any scripts in these viruses. Why do you think there aren't any scripts in them? Hmm. Maybe the virus remover deleted the scripts. You can see right here, there's this, but all these little things now are harmless. All these viruses, they're harmless. You can see here, it does clone, but look at these. Now then, if you look here, then... Most of these viruses and things should all be, like, contained now, as you can see. But look at that. It just duplicated itself. If you watch, then it's going to start duplicating itself. Let's fold it back up. Now, I'm telling you that Road Offender does a really good job. Stream Victory, Expire, Yumi. As you can see, they're all in here now. They're all viruses, and the virus remover should remove them now. I don't know why it didn't. Also, another good virus defender to have is this, this virus destroyer right here. Remove two items. It's not really as good as Road Defender, but it's good to have a few of them. Guardian Angel Defender um, is nice too, but um, I think you have to manually delete like each thing, whereas Road Defender just does it for you. So that's what makes Road Defender so much better than the others. So yeah, I would say just do that and then delete anything that's suspicious and. You should be pretty much free of viruses after that. Now, I don't know why, but Road Offender should, um, should now have deleted it. We're going to start scan here. And it's good to have Guardian Angel Defender and Road Offender. It's pretty much going to be what you need. I think until you were scanning right now. Now, some of them will say there are certain things that it thinks are bad and deletes, where others don't even catch that. Because, as I've said, like, Road Defender, I think, deletes a lot of things that aren't viruses and aren't causing problems like my admin commands. It's frustrating, but it's better to have the admin commands gone, too, than just to keep a virus in your game. So, yeah, now, as far as I know here, these viruses should be completely removed. They aren't appearing to spread at all right now, although they are in parts now. So we're going to go ahead and press play now. Right, we're playing the game. This will probably go slowly because of these viruses. Yeah. Now, I'm hoping that Road Defender did it. I've used Road Defender many times before in the past. Oh, that's weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Let's turn all volume up, see if the viruses are blasting music at us. The game looks pretty normal. It's like just a normal Roblox game. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it really helped. Please like and subscribe if you did, if you want more content like this and you enjoyed the video. And goodbye.